Today we're going to get a little bit of solder practice by adding the headers to an Arduino Nano. So here's the Arduino Nano and uh, here is what the header looks like that we're going to solder to it. Uh, we have put this all on the breadboard so that uh, we have a nice and stable uh, foundation for doing the soldering. When you do soldering, the most important thing is that you have a clean solder joint and also a clean um, a soldering iron. So here's the soldering iron that we're going to use. And we do have some solder here. It's lead-free solder. So that means that the uh, temperature of the tip has to be about 400 degrees centigrade. And we also have some solder wick in case we are making any errors that we can um, actually suck up the solder in the wrong places. So let's take a look at what this whole thing looks like. Here's the Arduino Nano under a microscope camera. And um, you should see the tip of the soldering iron. You can see that it's a little bit uh, dark grayish. And that probably means it's a little oxidated because it has been sitting for a while. So I need to clean this and make it nice and uh, shiny again. And sometimes you have to add a little bit of solder in order to uh, make the tip uh, really usable and not oxidated. If you use a, a sponge, uh, make sure that it's wet. Uh, otherwise, uh, it, you will burn up the sponge. You can see also now that I've been putting on some goggles so that I can see better what I'm doing here. Even though it's a li little tricky with the microscope camera, which is sort of in the way. But anyway, here we are doing one of those other joints. The key thing is to get everything heated up at the same time. So you don't heat up the the soldering iron first or the uh, the wire that you want to connect. So this looks like a good joint here. This one over here has a little bit too few, too little solder on it. Uh, sometimes it may happen that you're actually putting too big of a blob of solder, like for example this one, and then you have to go and use the solder wick Solder wick is basically just some copper mesh that when heated up will uh, suck up the solder and it usually takes a little while to get it heated just right so that it takes that in. Okay, Make sure that you are not heating things too long of course otherwise um, component might get damaged so in this case maybe doing it like that will work. I uh, have to probably cut off a little bit of that uh, solder wick and then try once more. Okay so now I think it's looking better. So I can go back now and finish that solder joint by just putting a little bit of solder again. Okay, and then I can go to the one here. Okay, and sometimes you may also just put too little solder. I don't know if I can do it easily here, but this one looks like one that has too little. So that can create what is called a cold solder joint. Also, if you actually move it during the cooling process, that will also create a cold solder joint. And those joints can lead to trouble later because they may make it only a temporary contact that's sometimes very hard to debug. Okay, but generally speaking, once you have a little bit of practice with the soldering, it's pretty easy to do. Okay, also pay attention to the fumes that you see here. Try not to breeze those in. Ideally, of course, we would have some uh, filter that is sucking that up. 
So here's the finished product. You see that all solder joints have been made and we're going to take a look at it more closely now. Here we can see the solder joints from the side. Um, you can see that they are fairly regular. Uh, they have a nice sort of volcano mount around the pin that we are soldering in and they are not um, overly big. Uh, the whole area around the pin is covered, that's why we call it a volcano. Here it is, uh, looks like from the other side. And what you want to have is those uh, nice shiny uh, solder joints. You don't want to have some gray porous blobs around it because uh, they don't hold up very well later. And like I mentioned before, they can lead to those um, intermittent faults that are very hard to trace in the end. Okay, so I think that uh, covers our basics here for soldering those joints into the Arduino. Nano.